There are two major types that come in a package. One type of beneficial nematode stays right at the ground level, right at the surface of the soil. And what that one does is he does what I call seek and destroy larvae and grub. He actually goes after things like cutworm, wireworm, weevil. So th this particular beneficial nematode, because there are bad nematodes, these are beneficial. Beneficial means that they benefit your soil. And this and they go after larvae grub and they 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 kind of eat it. Well, here's the picture about what they do. So does anybody know what a beneficial nematode is? No. Is it a worm? It is a worm. It's a microscopic round worm. You cannot see it unless you put it under a microscope. They're really tiny. So what, what you do with this ball is this one does 3,000 square feet, this little package that's in there. There are 5 million in that package. So for the, for the homeowner, this is usually the way you get it. There might be another company that has it in a little sponge or a package, but they're all the same. It's all the same type of nematode, and it's usually 5 million in a package. And that 5 million does 3,000 square feet. Is it, is it alive? It is, it is alive when you put it in water. Okay. okay. Well, right now it's know? dormant in the package. Right. And it's in, a, in that package, is, it's a clay base that it's in. That's what it's surviving in. So what you do with that is you take out your package and you can use a pump sprayer, you can use a watering can, whatever's going to work for you. I like these. I actually uh, work with this product a lot. I use something like this, comes with it. When you attach your hose to it, you turn it on, it has a jet stream that goes out quite far. And so later on I'll be doing demonstrations of this outside. In, in May I'll be doing demonstrations. These do not come here until the middle of April. So you won't find them any earlier unless you go to the coast to buy it. Here, a few of the gardening stores carry this. And the best time is to start putting it on in the middle of <coughs> April. And the reason why you put it on in the middle of April is because there's two specific type in here. One that does the surface that I was talking about that actually seeks and destroys the larvae grub. And there's another nemato beneficial nematode that lives seven inches down in the soil. And what he does is he kind of sits there. He sits there and then he waits for the larvae or grub to come by. So the one that's at the top will actually get the cutworm or actually get the wireworm and many more, many more insects. Flea beetle larvae. You can put this everywhere. You can put this in your vegetable garden, flower garden, lawn. I want you to spray it everywhere. The best time to do it is in the morning or in the evening. You never put this on in the middle of a hot sunny day because it doesn't like the sun so much. Put it on a cloudy day. Put it on if you know it's going to rain and put your rubber boots and raincoat on and go out there with them. <laughs> that sounds kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> Animals. Animals. Sounds kind of weird. Do it's your best friend, okay? Yeah. It's your best friend. Okay, and so what you want to do is you want to make sure everything is wet first. So let's say you're going to put it on your lawn. Just spray your lawn with a little bit of water. In April, in, in middle of April to the end of April, your soil is probably moist anyways first thing in the morning. You just don't want it to be really dry when you go to use this. Um, go ahead, use a pump sprayer, use this, use water, whatever is going to work for you. Put it in there with a little bit of water, shake it so it gets mixed in there, fill it up with water or fill up your pump sprayer or fill up your watering can. Whatever is going to work for you, whatever surface that you're going to be doing it on. And then let's say for instance you're using something like this. I'm walking, what I do is I just walk along on the lawn and I do the worst area first. And that means any areas that look kind of bald or patched up to you, patchy like where there's dirt in between or just doesn't look very good. It looks kind of your lawn might be looking like it's in stress, looks kind of icky. Well, do those, just spray those first. Go around, go around the areas. If you've got vegetable garden, flower garden, you want to do that, make sure you try not to get it on your petals or your plant. Because you won't see these little guys, but they can get hooked onto that. So try to do it on the soil. When you're finished with this, okay, rinse it out with water and go like that. Because there might be some caught in the little can. You can't see them again, you just have to trust me that I'm telling you the truth about this, okay? <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so put the water in here, dump it over, okay, and get rid of it that way. Then you fill up clear water, use your pump sprayer, water, clear, use clear water, and go over that same area again. Make sure you wash it down in the soil. I'll tell you what, <laughs> this does, these guys are worth their weight in gold. Okay, you might spend $35 to $40 on this, but that's the best money you will have ever spent in your soil. And the reason why you're using this is because most of our soils have had chemicals or herbicides put onto that soil, whether it's weed and feeds, uh, whether it's um, some kind of chemical we're putting into our vegetable garden to get rid of, whether it's like carbaryl, malathion, permethrin. What that does is destroys everything good in your soil. And that means beneficial nematoids are killed. That means good microbes in your soil are killed. Good fungi are killed in your soil. And so what happens is then we get a vicious cycle when that happens. All these cutworm problems, wireworms, um, problems in your lawn from cinch bu or chinch bug and sod webworm, all kinds of things coming out. Onion maggot larvae, there isn't anything else. This, is, this does a great job on onion maggot larvae. Okay, so any, any vegetable gardens, flower gardens, lawn, all those, all those synthetic chemicals kill all these guys. So a lot of people right now have what we call dead dirt. There's nothing there to help get rid of. So it's, what do you do, right? You're, you're trying to get rid of it on the surface, but the best thing you can also do is to attack your soil with it as well. So, yeah. What are those will cover how much? 3,000 square feet. So what you would do is, does anybody know how to count their, how to do it? Like how to do it. How to get the square footage out of your, your yard? That's right, length times width. Just count your whole yard. If you got a pie shape, you might have to do it in two sections. Count that and add that together. 3,000 square feet. This little ball, 3,000 square feet. And you might want to use it again the next year. Yeah, well, this is going to You know, once, okay, they, they survive until there's no food. Okay, and then they, they will starve to death, literally. So if you have a, so, but they'll take care of that problem for quite a while. You might want to do it the next year. Depends on how bad your soil is, how bad your lawn is, how, how many problems you have. You may have to use it two or three times, you know, two or three times every year, like a, once every year, I mean.